Alpine has finally achieved its goal, and that is to have an old French lineup for the 2023 season. However, Ocon had some words to say when it came to Pierre Gasly being his teammate, and it's publicly known that both of them aren't really the best of friends. Although they both come from France, their families aren't in the best of relationships, and these two drivers have deteriorated from their friendship, which is something that cannot influence their performance in Alpine. So with Ocon currently leading the Alpine standings and Gasly attempting to establish himself in a high-performing team, what will be the outcome for the French team? Stick around with us to find out more. Before we dive deep into the Ocon Gasly saga, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like our video and turn on the notifications. After finally leaving AlphaTauri's toxic environment, Gasly now has the opportunity to prove himself in a high-performing team like Alpine. The French team is currently P4 in the Constructors' Championship, and with Alonso departing, Gasly has a perfect opportunity to show what he is capable of. However, he'll have to pair up with his old foe Esteban Ocon, as it's widely known that both of them aren't the best of friends on the grid. Nonetheless, Alpine was aware of this prior to signing Gasly, and are clearly excited to see how the duo performs. It's evident that the team is going to work on the relationship between these two guys, but on the other hand, they have already taken some precautionary measures just in case their families decide to spice things up during a race weekend. According to Joe Sawward, Alpine has reportedly limited the number of times that Ocon and Gasly's families can attend race weekends, and they are unlikely to be at the same race weekend at the same time. I am told that, in an effort to keep friction to a minimum, both drivers have been informed that they can have family at only two events a year, and that the two families cannot attend the same races. It's evident that Alpine will push to be one of the best teams on the grid in 2023, and that has been said by their technical director, Alan Permain. After the Piastri fiasco, the best candidate for the starting spot was obviously Gasly, and the team were willing to work out any issues that Gasly and Ocon might present to them in order to be back on the podium more frequently. Esteban Ocon was asked about Gasly's joining Alpine and what it means for the team, as he said, I mean, we started go-karting together. That's pretty crazy. I have a lot of fantastic memories, obviously, with Pierre when we were kids. And you know, we lost ourselves a little bit. He was doing different championships, he went to Japan, I was staying in Europe, different teams, different times. But I think it would be great to collaborate together. It's not only myself now from Normandy, we are all three from Normandy, me, Pierre and the brand. So, if we can bring the team to the top and make Normandy win, that will be something special. I think there are some great things that we can create there. The minimum is for us to do a perfect job obviously for the team and work well together. But I'm sure everything will be good. You always want to beat your teammate when you are in F1. It's the same rivalry that you have with any teammate because there's no French championship. There is no French-Spanish championship, so it's all good. According to Ocon, the fact that he has more knowledge of Alpine compared to Gasly won't interfere with who'll receive the number one status in the team, as he continued to elaborate, it's not something that I really focus on too much. The important thing for me is to keep the job I'm doing, the development, the new floor that we brought in Singapore, I'm also the leader of that coming. Fernando also gives his thoughts, I give my thoughts, and it's the work together that we bring that makes the important thing. For sure, I will have the most experience, I know how the car works, but it is important for the team to get Pierre up to speed very quickly. Do you like what you're seeing so far? Make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video as we're going to continue elaborating on the Gasly and Ocon saga. The positive thing for Alpine is that both Ocon and Gasly had a talk and they did a photo shoot together, which means they are likely ready to bury the hatchet for the good of the team. Alpine has struggled a lot with reliability issues this season, which is why McLaren has been so close to them in the Constructors' Championship fight. The last thing they'll need, apart from the potential reliability issues, is to have a situation similar to Alonso and Hamilton's from 2007 to 2009, where the chemistry was so bad that one of them had to eventually leave in order for things to get back to normal. But what is the issue behind Gasly and Ocon? 
Both of them are French, and instead of being good friends, we are seeing all of these news that they aren't talking to each other, and their families aren't in a very friendly relationship either. According to Gasly, everything started when they were in their old karting days, when Ocon deliberately crashed into him while he was about to take P2 or P3 as a starting position. The relationship unfortunately got a lot worse at some point in karting when we started to fight for the World Cup, European Championship and also National Championship. And I really remember one weekend, the World Cup in 2010 in Portugal, that he literally cut the track one corner, cutting the grass and hit me in the last heat before the pre-final because I was going to start, I think, second or third. And I think he didn't really like that said Gasly. Prior to that, both of them were really close friends, and Gasly recalled some situations where Ocon used to come to his home, and they used to go karting together while the snow was freezing their hands. As he continued to speak, he, Ocon, used to come to my home many times, and same for myself, we went to his place. I even remember times that in the winter, there was nobody coming to our racetrack. We were the only ones there, snowing like hell, and we were going for like three or four laps, coming back when our hands were completely freezing, and going back of the truck with a heater just to get warm for 15 minutes, and then after, getting back on track for five other laps, with the slick tires on, and just driving on the snow. It seems like Gasly and Oiko are ready to bury the hatchet, and although the Gasly interviews date back to 2018, while he was a guest on Beyond the Grid, the fact that they talked and had a photo shoot speaks enough for itself. During this interview in 2018, Gasly also emphasized the importance of this conflict he had with Ocon when it comes to the maturity of both drivers, adding, I think in the end it was a positive thing that these things happened to us because it's really pushed us so much harder to beat each other. And in the end, you know, it's quite funny to see both of us now in Formula 1, looking at where we started, and with our track, not much money, going to take the tyres at the back of the garage from all the guys. Just to see the way we grew up and where we are now, it's just fantastic. So, I think we really respect each other as a driver, but unfortunately, there is not the feeling that we had in the past which was much more friendly. Another key figure in this situation is Otmar Zafnauer, who said that Ocon had nothing but praise for Gasly's joining the team and offered his full support and help if needed. Earlier this season, when Ocon was asked about who he wanted to pair with as a teammate, he mentioned Schumacher as the best possible replacement for Alonso. Many F1 fans and media have started to criticize him because of the choice he made, saying that Schumacher is less likely to challenge Ocon in Alpine than Gasly. However, Ocon's initial wish wasn't fulfilled, and now he has to prove that he is a decent driver against Gasly, who has a lot to prove for himself. With that being said, what do you think is next for Alpine? Do you think that Gasly and Ocon are going to make it work? Or do you think that we're bound to see another McLaren situation that dates back to the 2007 season? Let us know in the comments below.